So could you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call, please. Councilwoman Karumba. Present. Councilman DeWitt. Present. Councilwoman Carr. Present. Mayor Simmons. Present. Councilman O'Flynn. Councilman Gibson. Here. Councilman Forbes. Present. Okay, well, good morning, everybody. We're here for not so good circumstances, but hopefully um, with all of our hard work and resiliency, I know we'll be okay. Uh, this is an emergency resolution of the city of Bonita Springs declaring a state of local emergency resulting from Hurricane Dur uh, Dorian providing an effective date. Should I read this in to the record? No, there's no need to. Um, Mayor and Council, this, what this declaration does is it activates certain authorizations provided to the city under Chapter 252, which is the emergency management statutes. Um, primarily what it does is in the event this, this event causes problems for us, in the future we'll be able to bypass certain protocols and other requirements of law, including procurement in order to get supplies and materials and to make those decisions as necessary. Um, without necessarily calling a, a council together or going through the normal processes we have set up. Um, we're hopeful, obviously, that this will not be a direct impact on us, but in the event that it is, uh, these can be extended in seven-day increments, and so we will look to bringing something back to you on the 4th, possibly, if indeed this becomes a, a larger event. Okay. Council, what's your pleasure? So move. Second. Okay, there's been a motion to approve and a second. Is there further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilwoman Karumba? Aye. Councilman DeWitt? Aye. Councilwoman Carr? Aye. Mayor Simmons? Aye. Councilman O'Flynn? Councilman Gibson? Aye. Councilman Forbes? Aye. Okay, now is our public comment section. I know I see some folks here from Public One. I don't know if you want to make some comments or questions, but now would be a good time for that. Thank you, and thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, with the experience of we have before with this type of events of rain and storms, our community is very worried. Everybody's worried. But we got a lot of questions with the students, parents in, in the schools. I work in Bonita Middle, my wife works in Bonita Elementary. And a lot of the parents who they are coming and asking us, what should I do? A lot of the parents live in mobile homes, trailers, and in old houses, which are not really prepared for a, an event like that. So they was asking, where will be the, the best place to go if I gotta go? And, and you know, I get a very concerned because I don't even know what to tell the, the people because uh, I'm not sure at the moment when, when we really need to get a, a place, a, a shelter, where can be. I don't, I don't remember if it's any shelters here in Bonita. I know the, the, the Hertz uh, Arena is in re repairing. I don't think it's going to be available but in, in case something happening. I mean, this is right now, like a, in a couple of days, we don't know what, what's going to be happening. But still more t storms developing and maybe coming. And also, you know, I mean, why we wait until something happened and running around in the streets and don't know where to go? So that's my concern. I don't know what we can do and then make sure we got a good shelter, shelter here nearby Bonita Springs. Right. No, thank you. And do we we'll have see. some information? Obviously, we'll be sharing. And of course, th there's an activation in a protocol, so it's somewhat limiting how we, f you know, it's Lee County Emergency Operations Center dictates what we do as a city, but obviously, we have some more information we're, that we can we're share. We're continuing to monitor Lee County, and as operations continue, they'll make those decisions on what facilities they'll be, they'll be opening, and sometimes um, also to help with the residents on other coasts there's some activations that might happen in the future, but we fall under the auspices of the Lee County Emergency Management who, who is, gets their direction from the state of Florida. So we just follow their process. Yes, I mean, that, that's a lot of uh, communication 
but the, our website, the city hall's website, has been updated, and it's true. Who, who just updated it? Um, Laura would have. Laura. Laura, and then some the web the guy who was working on the website. Oh. Well, well anyway, communication staff is updating it, and they're getting. But there's a really good one for a hurricane now, and if you go to that link, it'll give you emergency numbers, contacts, places to go, you know, pet friendly, not friendly, and so our website. The City Hall's website is terrific. So cityofbenitasprings.org. Okay. Uh, but also, you sh I, think we sh I think we've uh, extended this information on our website. Alertly, there's a, an app that people can yeah. put on their phone, and they get alerts about what they're supposed to do, and it's free. You just put it on your phone. It says Alertly. You register who you are, what you are, you know, where you're living and everything. And if you have, if there's an evacuation order, it would be sent directly to your phone. I have it on my phone. I think it's, it's one of the best mechanisms that we have. Uh, and it wasn't operating during armor. This is like a new thing. So well, I, I wish if we can get that information before all this. Uh, well, it has been distributed. People because I don't think it's any uh, shelters yep. nearby no, no, the, the area shelters, the shelters about 10 miles around. 15, 20 miles, 50 miles? The shelter, just, uh, the, they don't get set up until... That hasn't been set up yet. What will end up happening is they'll go to a, what they call a level one, and Lee County will activate that. At this point, I understand that, that at the earliest it could be activated is Sunday. At that point, based on where the need is, they will list in coordination with school board and other entities a, a list of shelters. But at this point, there is no list of shelters. I'm just, just yeah. pretend. Like something happened this weekend. I mean, I don't know exactly where it's going to be the, the nearest place to go. I mean, <clears throat> it depends on where the dan danger lies. Yeah, I think the other thing is it's not going to happen until sometime Tuesday. That's when it'll be over at the coast <clears throat> or making it. And if it changes its mind and comes our way, that'd be about the time it would pass the tip of Florida. And it's moving incredibly slow. Here, let me, let me, so the example <coughs> given is we worry a lot here about coastal storm surges. So we, we, we can get concerned about having shelters near the beaches. And so in most storms you think, okay, I want to be inland. But a storm like this one, the danger may be inland. So giving a, people a list of shelters that may be out in Henry County may be very dangerous because you may be sending people into danger. And so they don't make those decisions about where the <coughs> shelters for a particular storm are going to occur until we get a very clear picture of what it's going to look like. <laughs> Unfortunately, up until that occurs, there is, there is no list. Yeah, and if, if I could add one more thing, I was going to wait to do this at the end, but a lot of people are worried about flooding, <coughs> particularly <coughs> in IBE and places like that, Quinn Street, Dean Street, the river yesterday at 8.30 was at 8.56 feet. At 4.30, it was at 8.52 feet. It's dropping about, about an inch and a half, a little less than that every eight hours. If we don't get any rain, it's still going down. <clears throat> when Irma hit, before it hit, the river was at 11.30. So it's almost three feet lower than it was when we had Irma. So if, based on that information, if we had the same amount of rain drop in here that we had with Irma, including the four inch rainfall, we probably wouldn't flood at all, other than probably Quinn would get some, but it's, it's not gonna be near as bad. Well, in addition, we've cleaned the, the, the rivers, and the, right. we cleaned out pits yeah, and stuff. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm aware of all yeah. the hard work you guys been doing and, and yeah. trying to improve the system to well, I'm get the water out of, of the city. <coughs> Still, you know, everybody's concerned. Hopefully nothing bad happened. And yeah. hopefully, you know, tomorrow or next couple of days or three days, we just relax and then be okay. But Well, it's one of those things, one, and it's probably not the best analogy, but you know me, I'll, I'll give it a shot with the sports analogy. We're, at, we're, at, we're preparing for game one of the World Series. We can't worry about game seven right now and try to make plans and travel arrangements because we don't know where the storm's going exactly. So unfortunately, it is kind of a, I don't know what, 24 hour, 48 hour notice ahead of time. 
It won't be a lot of time, but they will continue to update and change evacuation routes if there are, uh, places for people to go, shelters if they will, but that will all come in turn as needed. And it's not a reassuring a week ahead of time, I get you that, but. Right. And, and in, in my case, I'm putting an email out today to my district talking about the river and what it's doing and giving them comparables of what it was at different floods to allay their concern about flooding at the moment, which but could but easily I, change. I'm sorry. Are you, I have a question for Arlene, though, because I think Juan brought up a, uh, an important question, and that's in regard to Germain Arena. And it is, we did read in the paper that it's under reconstruction. Do we know if that's even available? I think it's been announced that it's not going to be active. It's not going to be available. So I think that's somewhat of an issue here because most people are used to going there as a shelter. And it is the case that Bonita actually does not have any certified shelters. So there's no building in Bonita that is certified. All right. So even the schools are not certified and neither is the new high school, even though we had hoped that it might be. Uh, because I think the location. So we have to look outside of our uh, city border for shelter. Either go to, we'll probably go north to Lee County or we possibly could be using Collier County shelters if they'll let us. So we're in a kind of unusual position. And it's where we are worried about it because if, right. if, if that happened, I hope no, God help us. I, I, but if that happened, I mean, it's the people start going asking, where should I go? And then right now, nobody knows. Right. On Amy's that's right. point, that's a good excuse for our mayor to talk to our new county commissioner and say, we got a problem and it's in your district. You need to get on this with the emergency management people. It's, we can't, it's not, we, we don't have any, any authority to do anything this. But, but I think we can get a hold of Ray. It's a safety issue with the floodplain level that the city is at and the, and the some potential of flooding. And that is the reason why there are not certified mm -hmm. locations. And in the past, there were some improvements made to the YMCA. That's an after event mm -hmm. potential of, of being able to provide some shelter to folks um, after. But we also know there's flooding on roads around there as well. So there are, we don't want to put folks in a shelter where they would not be able to leave and they would be unsafe. Yeah. So probably something, uh, uh, you know, something to think about in the future to build something, a uh, shelter, or, or if it's any projects for new buildings, you know, think about right. shelters too. Well, again, the, the commissioners are the ones that make that decision. So when we have a town hall and our commissioner is here, you should come, Mon, and Oh, definitely. I, I, I know where to, he comes. I'll go out there and talk to him. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, well, you. thank you, Juan, and stay tuned because we will certainly be disseminating information as we get it. Um, That's it. I see we have, uh, rep would, you, would you like to say anything on behalf of the Sheriff's Department or any information to share? We'd love to have you help disseminate, as much as anything, this is dissemination of information for folks. So thank you for being here. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, City Council. And... Uh, staff and uh, the uh, public here. Uh, just on behalf of uh, Sheriff Marcino and the men and women of Lee County Sheriff's Office, uh, here to let you know that we do, we are ready, uh, we are prepared, and uh, we will keep our community safe, we'll keep our citizens safe, and we'll safeguard their property. Um, we stand at the ready. We've been in contact with our first responder partners in the city of Benita Springs and at this time everybody is in place and ready to accept any challenge that comes our way uh, fortunately as we've seen uh, things are looking uh, optimistically or cautiously optimistic uh, you know as far as the storm goes but regardless uh, we do understand that you know depending on the, its its path uh, there's still a turn that needs to take place which is going to be sometime uh, either monday evening or tuesday at this point um, and uh, as we've seen and followed the nature of that storm, it's, it's made its changes. Um, regardless, we as, as a partner are all prepared and uh, want to reassure all of you in the community that um, we're here and ready to accept uh, any challenges that will come our way. All right. Do you have any questions? No. Wonderful. Thank you all for all that you do. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Arlene or Derek? 
Carly, do we have more to cover? We'll continue to update you. We have a, um, a, a city and county call at 930 for some additional updates, and we'll continue to send out emails with updated information. And we'll continue to update our website. We will take the messaging received from the EOC and keep repeating that on all of our outlets, social media outlets, as well as um, TV 98 and um, the website. Wonderful. Council? OK. Um, yes. Yes, motion to adjourn? Yes. So moved. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.